Alrighty, welcome, welcome everybody. Wasabi, wasabi, you motherfuckers out there. Welcome, welcome to the TJ Lens Bankai live live show. Of course, this is your man TJ Lens Bankai. I hope you guys are having a fantastic rest of your lovely uh, past couple months. Actually, it's been kind of crazy how long it's been. We haven't been on in like almost a month. How crazy is that? Um, so uh, we're doing actually this stream for a special episode that we're being featured on actually in about a couple minutes, but it's not a big deal. So we're going to be doing a lot of um, mainly just personal stuff. So like you guys can ask me any question you guys want um, at that point. <clears throat> so anything goes pretty much. And we're going to have a great time because at the end of the day, I, you guys want to ask me anything you guys has any questions you guys have for for me as a goal or objective or anything like that. So I'm going to discuss that again once the once everybody else comes in here, of course. Uh, that's going to be end up probably what's going to end up being doing anyway. So that's that's always going to be fun. So but anyways, let me I'll give you guys a little bit of catch up of kind of what's going on. How uh, come I went offline like all randomly sudden. I'll, I'll distress that right now. The reason we went off and I hate to say this is because there was a lot going on in my mind, especially with February. Um, a family member passed away last year. Unfortunately, that kind of brought up some stuff. I, I never really had fun with Christmas time, like the first three months, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, just had a lot going on for a little while, but I'm kind of recovering and things are getting better, of course. So we should be back on pretty soon. Plus, we're getting some more emotes coming in uh, eventually at some point. Uh, plus, working on some other stuff in the behind the scenes and everything else. And we're kind of just doing a lot of uploading to freshcot.gg. That's always been <laughs> a great time, of course. Uploading every single clip and highlight, probably like almost the 400s. Just consistently doing that on a daily basis. And that's always fun. Um, I'm not going to really do anything like music wise or anything like that for right now. But. Um, I appreciate all you. If anybody here comes in here, you guys are awesome. Uh, during the live showcase, not during the live showcase, not no big deal. We all, I respect everybody, um, regardless. No issues there, you know. So while we're waiting, there's a kind of like I said, there's a lot of misunderstandings, and I've, I, uh, so I'll, I'll play guys catch up. So I just joined a uh, free company on Final Phase 14. Uh, great group of people. There was a little bit of issues sometimes, but we ended up clearing that up pretty quick. Uh, thanks to a good friend of mine. So, which is whatever. But everybody's cool though, otherwise. We haven't really talked in the whole group in a while because a lot of IRL stuff that's kind of been going on, of course. Um, so, that's been happening. But also, what's been happening is I'm getting stuck on emotes ideas because I'm trying to be a little different. You know, and that's always been a very difficult. It's been very, very difficult. So and that's always fun because uh, we I decided we're going to do. I'm going to add a Kefka emote because fuck it, because that's like my favorite villain of all time is Kefka. He's awesome. Awesome, dude. Um, we're also going to add um, another final phase 14 character doing the shrugs and of course we're gonna have actually two emotes of me actually for the first time i didn't think i was actually gonna do it at first but we're gonna have uh me all confused or something like that sorry there, there's like jesus christ it's like it's like no damn it's like my fucking thing and it's like my toenail or something it's annoying um, but yeah, that's been going around. That's been great for the past couple minutes. Um, I ended up having to, we're just doing this special episode because we actually never had a time slot in a very long time and I wanted to do it. But the problem was, it was just the time and I was busy. So that's always never been fun for me, of course. Uh, but I'll gladly actually, and I said this before, any questions you guys have, uh, you're more than welcome to ask me. Uh, as long as it's not too personal, um, we should be fine. Anything like game interests or what made you do this and stuff like that, I'll give you guys some better context. Uh, we do have a lot of people here. I do want to thank uh, real quick before we before the showcase uh, before this starts because it's gonna get a little bit crazy. Probably not though. It's getting it is getting late. It's almost what midnight to 
One o'clock. Jesus, it's almost midnight. How uh, how much of a nutbag can I be anyways? Talk about birds for about 16 minutes. <laughs> it's, it's, it's always about those fucking birds, you know? It's, it's always been about those birds. I know it's an RTU thing, but you know what? I'm making phoenixes, not actual chickens. We're just doing phoenixes because we don't care. Always been a great time. Uh, so a lot of times... I don't know how to say this because I don't know if any of you guys have some IRL friends or whatever. But I, uh, oh, I'll tell you guys a really funny story. So for the first time in my life, I tried edibles. Like, I don't remember what the bag was called, the brand name, but it was like, I remember it was like specifically 100 milligrams per gummy. And I had two of them at the same time. And I will tell you this right now for the first time. And I was like all fucking weird as shit. I was all giddy and all excited and everything. It was it was great. It was such it was such a great time. But like it, it was just a unique experience that nobody's ever going to not take away. But like I never experienced in my life. And it was fucking awesome. So that's not really like the point of this entire thing talk about 420 stuff i have never done anything of any sort so i decided to try it and i felt kind of weird you know because that's just how it is i don't i don't know okay I, i'm just another man on the fucking goddamn you know on the internet whatever whatever and that's always been great for the past hour and a half and it's 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 like i said it's been great it's been great for the past few hours and there's no issues or anything uh until i got weird around 10 11 o'clock at night and i was all like happy and i went to bed and i wake up the next morning i'm still feeling weird and there's a one of my friends was like dude are you okay i'm like no I'm, I had edibles and I feel fucking weird right now. <laughs> and he's like, no shit. <laughs> but the guys at work, they were staring at me. They're like, yo, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, dude. <laughs> they, they, they know I don't roll like that anyways. And it's, it's always been fucking hilarious at that fucking time. Always. It's always been like that. I don't know how else to fucking explain it. Like, it's just so it's 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 literally just hilarious. Like, I, I cannot describe to you. How fucking hilarious that is. You know, whatever case may be, I think it's fucking hilarious. You know that this is happening and it's it's funny, you know. But yeah, uh, that was kind of just the highlight life or whatever. That's, that's just getting that it's i will never do it again of course i would never do that um i don't know when i'm ever gonna come back i'm trying to find a good time to come back um but i gotta take care of some other matter so we will see uh really what happens of course uh but it's always been fun hey we got Sev ghost with the fucking raid hey there's everybody else there's all these mother truckers out here and of course it's we are our tradition when somebody gives a raid, we got to give them the bucket man dance. So let's give it up. Let's give it up for the final stings. The birds and the birds and the birds and the birds all day. I love all these birds, all these birds. Do you love the birds? Because I do. You're the birds of the man of the hour because you eat my wiener. Ah, oh, there's all these weirdos. What is going on? What is up, everybody? Welcome, welcome. This is the Final Sting Showcase Part 1. I figure it's for something different. We're going to do something a lot different. I want you guys to interview me. You guys are more than welcome to ask me any questions you guys like. It could be weird shit. It could be Persona 5. It could be anime shit. It could be Bob the Builder jokes. You guys can ask me anything you want. And we're going to do this for a little while, so it's going to be fun. <laughs> it's, 
I'm all I'm I'm all giddy for the next 24 hours. So we're this is what we're gonna deal with. We're gonna deal with this the whole time. This is gonna be this is gonna be uh such a fantastic time. We're doing this. Yes, you guys can ask me any questions you guys like. Go right ahead. Anything and anything goes. We're 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 letting it all out. And yes, Luna Queen, welcome, welcome. Welcome everybody. Zav Ghost, thank you for the raid, sir. Your your birds have been mentioned. These breasts will never forget you. How old are you? I am. I just turned 28 two months ago. We're gonna have a great time. And of course, we got Jarvis. Burbs, yes, all the burbs. Every, every single burbs you can find. Air it all out. Exactly. There we go. I'm 28. We're gonna have some fun times. Anyways, continue. You guys can ask me any question you guys like. Every single burb. Yes, every single burb for the next 24 hours is going to be breastfed and breastfilled. <laughs> and every shitter. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue with the questions. You guys can throw me anything you guys like. You guys can ask me whatever you want. Go for it. Please go for it. Where'd you get the bucket man from? All right. That's a really good question, Jarvis. I actually do like that one. So I'll tell you guys a little bit of backstory. So I was working at a job one day, and we use these buckets for a lot of things, sauce, um, mainly just sauce. So we end up kind of extra in the back, and Princess Jay is welcome, welcome. Um, so we got this bucket from, I got this from work, but we, we did, it used to store pepper cheese. I ended up stealing one, and that's always great. I am so sorry, sir. Is that Tessa Sungetsu over there? Uh, yes, we have Tessa Sungetsu. We have... Shikai, we have Buster Sword, we have uh, Zor uh, Emma, we have Shisui, we have Gunblade, Gun Squall's Gunblade, we have De Devil May Cry, Lost Sword, we got all kinds of shit. Mini balls. I am sorry, sir. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, anyways, I got it from work, Jarvis, and we d I used to dance around at work being an idiot, and it's always been great. And how many swords we have? Cool swords. Thank you so much. Uh, we have, let's see here. I guess you guys want to show and tell. So we got Cloud's Blade, Ichigo Shikai. Uh, we also have, so this is one of Zoro swords. I forget the name. I always forget names today. Three more Zoro swords. This one's Laws right here, if you guys can't tell. We have... Squall's Gumblade. It's a lovely, lovely weirdo. I feel like that would be amazing. Exactly. Ah, uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much. You post a sword of collection of shame. Have you ever done like a cosplay or anything with them? Uh, yes, I have. I have done tons of cosplays uh, before. I've, I've, uh, if you guys really don't remember me 100%, I followed you somehow. It didn't work. What? <laughs> so I'll, I'll answer some more questions. So if you guys don't remember around November ish, I was cause I was at Comic-Con around I left at three and I've actually kind of told a story beforehand. And, and thank you so much, Mini Bolt, for the shocking fucking follow you, motherfucker. Casting Thundog on my ass. OK, thanks, Ramu. You're you're a real man. All right. Christ. Uh, that's always been great. That's that's sad. But anyways, let me continue with the uh, loveliness. Anyways, uh, let's see. Follow us one more cosplay stream. I, I would do that, but I sweat like a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> Zoro. So I want, you guys want a Zoro cosplay? Shit. Zoro. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, that is answers Jarvis's question. Anybody else have any other questions they like to ask me? You guys can ask me where the fuck you want. Where I am. Do you get a receding hairline? Is that why you wear the hat? Um, nah, we want a bucket man cosplay. Um, the re I, my hair's like this is because my hair is still growing out and my haircut needs to be done. Favorite cosplay and it's it's second part. Uh, my favorite cosplay is Zoro. I like Zoro after time skip for One Piece. That's always been my favorite cosplay. I just walk around and look like I'm lost for 24 hours. It's it's a fantastic time. Uh, oh, why do I wear that? Um, I wear the hat for many. I wear beanies and hats for many reasons, usually just to cover my hair. But I, until I get a haircut, it's going too long. So that's why we end up actually having the uh, the wear the hats and stuff. I always do that anyways. That's always been me. Um, so anyways, 
anything i mean like i said keep throwing more guys keep throwing more questions because again this is your show and you guys deserve more and trust me as much as i hate to brag this is my first time so i like to get and i let you guys give me an interview first so you guys get to know me and be a weirdo <laughs> and and the birds will bless you okay all these birds will bless you what is your most prized possession that's a hard one uh let's see uh if i have to say i don't know i would say my final fantasy 14 collector's edition items over here I would put them down, of course. I have three boxes. I'm missing one, and I've been looking for one on eBay for a while. <laughs> so I'll be waiting there. Uh, that's there. I got tons of stuff there. Um, possession. But if it's not that, I would have to say is going to be, and I displayed this before, actually this guy right here. This is actually my most prized possession. This is just of recently. I don't know who. I met the people that actually did this during Comic-Con and obviously it was 200 bucks and i didn't really care it was awesome i actually call him uh he's actually my I, I don't know i don't know if i should put him on stream most of the time i just figure it might be fun just to talk to him for fun uh we call him ragnarosk as i would call it it's it's pretty dope that's why i've been calling him just because ragnar ragnarok or something or so ragnarosk or something i do have a lot of other stories as well so if i go any further uh, let me know but i have to if you guys like i said you guys can ask anything you want possessions uh interests you guys can ask me games i play you guys where are you from <laughs> all right so if you guys don't know i might be the only one here on the discord alone i'm actually from the state of of um massachusetts so i'm in the u.s from massachusetts so we're actually in the new england area so that's always been fun where is the what is the most ridiculous nightmare you ever had <laughs> oh that's a good one all right i'll continue let's see i had a nightmare that my dad uh my father was kidnapped by a succubus and the succubus decided to put a appropriate a spear down his asshole so pierced that it came out of his mouth and died and i had to see it with my own eyes since i was ensnared in succubus magic and it was kind of fucking awkward i woke up when the most randomest fucking thing ever <laughs> i don't fucking know why okay i woke up I'm like yo is my my dad's getting some fucking weird shit what's going on i don't know that that was a weird one i have i have a different one but it's pretty normal <laughs> It's so because my dad is weird as shit too. Uh but yeah, there goes that question. Can I be disturbing? Yes. And a, a genie a, a genie grants you the ability to have infinite amounts of one item, and what is that? Let's see. Does it have to be in real life? Or it could be myth or it could be mythical as well? That's another question. It has to be real life. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. So you want burps? Yes, birds. <laughs> okay. So it has to be real life is what you're saying. If it has to be real life, um, it would have to be this. I am sorry. Infinite Arizona iced teas, half and half. Infinite. I do not care. That's that's valid. So there we go, birds. It'll be it'll be fantastic. No, no, I love my half and half. I'm sorry. I tried the other ones and I'm not a fan of those in particular. Diet. I've had it before. It's okay. I don't really I don't really mind it. You know, people got their preferences, but it's cool. You know, we all cool here. So there's the, there's that question. All right, come on. I'm seeing I'm seeing Lunar Queen and I'm seeing Lil Lil Andrew actually asked me a bunch of questions. I had like eight gallons in my closet because of autism. We need some more questions, guys. We need some more. What is your first anime you watched? Um, I'm gonna have to say Pokemon. 
Pokemon was my very first anime for a long time. Pokemon, yes. Of all things, it has to be Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon's always been anime. It's great. People don't. People, I've I've had people that don't believe me that uh, Pokemon's not anime. I've had people believe me. I'm like, you're out of your mind. <laughs> all right, you know what? Fuck this. Because uh, who gives a shit? We got a thirsty email on here. Fuck it. What is the dumbest way you've injured yourself? <laughs> All right, I have, let's see. I've injured myself many times. I tripped up the stairs. I have given myself third degree burn from work. <laughs> I have, um, I got hit in the face a couple times. I ran too fast and I slid. Oh, wait, no, no, I actually, no, I got a better one. I injured a little bit of my elbow from, from literally spilling sauce all the way in. Did you win, though? Um, what do you mean did I win? A fight? No, I don't win fights, no. I feel sorry. So, all right, so I was walking down the lane at my job. And I'm holding the like a six ten meat sauce. I'm holding my hand. So the what the the problem was the fucking that now you're not supposed to run because this shit is slippery as fuck. So I'm just running. Hey, I fell. The fucking thing hits my face and then it pulls over my arm. And it was hot as balls. <laughs> I'm like ah. Oh. So I burnt myself there. All right, and let's see next one. Do you also do you have any pets? Uh. Yes, we have one. Her name is Penny. She's a lovable cat sometimes, but she can be a total bitch when she wants to. She's a small tabby cat. If I have a favorite pet, yes, I love my Maine Coon cat Jasper, and I'll miss him forever. All right, uh, what does Mini Bolt say? Did you win, though? What kind of win are we talking about? Did I say, did I win the match? Did I punch people in the face? No, I don't win fights, okay? I, I play dirty when I have to. Uh, but anyways, your favorite burb. <sighs> All right. Um, if it has to be real life, I will have to say uh, vultures, burbs. <laughs> Everybody's repeating burbs because of me. <laughs> pigeons. I I don't know. I, I was gonna say vult. I don't know. I, I would say vultures. <sighs> yeah, I got I got hit in the face. Yes. Okay. Yes. I no. I lost. I got hit in the face so hard. Um, if not vultures, what was it really? I don't know. I can't think of like a really cool bird creature in my head. No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's all good. It's all good. Mini bolt. It's all good. Um, but yes, um, Connors. No, not Connors. Um, I would probably say chickens are kind of cool. Um, Paradactyl. Uh, oh, now we're, oh, now we're going ancient. Pfft. <laughs> that was the time was. All right. So if we're going real life, I'm gonna stick with um, like a jay, a blue jay, chickens. I like chickens. But but if we're going with if it's mythical but mythology involved, I'm picking fucking phoenixes. Blue jays are dicks. A phoenix? Yes, yes, lunar phoenixes. We got that. <laughs> it's been so long. Oh, God. Yes. 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 You've seen me with the birds, okay? You've seen the phoenix, okay? They're cool as shit. <laughs> what did you do as a teenager that makes you cringe now? Um, pff, That's a hard one. Damn. I will have to say is uh, asking women out like too early. <laughs> that's, that's about it. <laughs> that uh, fucking I don't know. I, I might, that might be the only thing is like I don't know. I could have got a date. I'm like <laughs> or some shit. I don't know. Just cover that birds come around. Bunch of shit. Ah, oh, this is great. Ah, oh, should I even do these showcases more often? Because that's it's probably just rare. I'm like, great. I don't know. 
I don't know if I should go with just continuing more interviews. I'm like, you guys keep asking me questions or I don't give a fuck at this point. Just something different, please. I'm like, let me just go. Okay. What was the grossest thing you would do for a hundred dollars? Uh, ooh, that's a, that's a, God damn, that's a, that's a hard one. What I've done that's gross. I don't know. Uh, hug a guy that hasn't taken shower in about six months. That's probably not gross enough. I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what's gross. Okay. I have. No, no, she's fine. No. No, hey. If my pet says, if has, my pet has a consciousness, um, the pet says about you. All right, so my pet would probably ask me, why the fuck? Give, give me a hug, you fucking stupid dumbass. All right, ass or titties? All right, I want to go with this quote because this is real. If you ever guys ever watch prison, uh, prison school, the guy, the, the principal asked the main character a question. Was what? Oh, oh, shit, do you it, he asked the same question, but he finds out later. That. Ass would never replace. No, boobs would never replace ass. So my answer, most of the time, it always been titties. But I am starting to lean towards ass. So the it just you get to slap the ass and you get a nice rhythm out of it. I don't know. You get you get some kind of fucking drum beat. You can just go like this. Keep smacking ass for the next 24. Then why the titty emo? Hey. We're talking about breasts. We talk about breasts all day. So, I don't know. Hey, I just said to figure, fuck it. I'm going to go with boobs. <laughs> I said, fuck it. I do like, I, I like both. I, I'm, I'm starting to lean to both. So, what is one story you love to tell, but you really get the chance? Uh, I have a lot of stories. Nothing really in particular that I, I can't really say much. Um, there's a ton I can tell you guys real life streams I can tell you guys um just stupid shit a just chatty story I can't say I, I could say more I could say a lot you know what uh let me think uh let, give me like a minute to kind of process that <laughs> trust me this what's your who's your favorite person in the world Damn. Um, I really have to say my meme before she died. She is my favorite person in the world. That's final. Um, that's that one. All right, let me get let me get Lil Andrew's question out of the way. So. Um, script. All right, I got one. I got one from work. So this time we'll do it. So we had a guy. We'll call him P. We'll call him JP for this one. So JP was just working and freaking he was he, he was known as a he, he looked like he was smoking meth. <laughs> OK, he just looked like he was smoking meth all day. <laughs> so there was a time there was another guy we hanged at the time. They were fucking around outside for some reason doing cardboard. So and we had one of the carts from Dollar Tree. So they decide to let's put the crackhead inside the cart like this you know hey the kid pushes the cart hey it rolls it hits and he falls on his ass and you can literally see his ass <laughs> hey we're sitting there i'm like hey we can see your ass from here hey we're sitting there we're just laughing because the, the, these two are idiots out there or oh, whatever so we could see that shit I mean, you can also see too, like uh, another one. We used to do the back of the day with the ice bucket challenge. I literally went outside of work 
and put I had put I took all my clothes off but my underwear and just dumped fucking water my head <laughs> with this not a bucket with a fucking this giant fucking thing you mix shit just pour it and I'm just sitting there cold it was like 20 degrees and I'm just sitting there freezing put my clothes back on I'm like <laughs> some shit uh, it was a great one um let me let me think of an eye sheet. I know I got one more fuck it all right, so this was at the time my manager was being an asshole to me for like the longest time. So I figured out my manager, ha I, I found out my manager has an Ingro toenail. So I said, all right, I'm gonna be a real fucking asshole. I, I was wearing boots and I know where the exactly where the, the toenail was because I he keeps saying about it. So I end up on purpose, just stop it. And he starts screaming in pain. <laughs> just to be an asshole and he's I literally i'm just like just walked up i'm like yeah fuck you hey little queen with the dragon oh damn i gotta change that i gotta change this <laughs> shit but it was but anyways thank you for the lovely resub oh excuse me sub and we'll do the bucket man dance once again because we got a sub let's go guys it's the bucket man dance Ah, there we go. I did it for the titties. <laughs> But yes, thank you for the sub, Lunar, and enjoy the lovely emotes that you guys got. Enjoy. We'll be adding more pretty soon, so it's going to be great. But anyways, there you go. Those are my 304 stories I could really come up with. <laughs> maybe not funny, maybe not. Who knows? Anyways, ask me anything. That's pretty much the whole point here. You could ask me anything you guys want. Because it's always great. I never really get to talk to most of you guys anyway, since it's always been kind of my fault as well. Just lurking away about 95% of the time. Like a total dickhead. Like, quite literally, just a dick. <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck are you doing? TJ, you fucking dickhead! I, I like this. Your crazy vibe is showing, and it's fun. I don't, I don't know. I've always been like this for most of my life. And what is your most controversial opinion of something is about something that is low stakes and doesn't matter much? <sighs> There's a lot. Oh. Um, I don't know that one. Let's see. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, Lunar Queen. Yes, I don't know what it is. Nobody sees me this way. Nobody ever sees this that way. I might be like Red Scarf. I, maybe Red Scarf's the best compa comparison, probably. But I, I have no idea. You're fun. I, I, I try. But anyways, uh, let me get to L Lily's question here. What's your most controversial opinion about something that is low stakes slash doesn't matter much? Um, I don't know if this counts, but this is kind of my way of thinking here. It's actually not too bad to have a nine to five job along with working like i think ketchup is abomination um no red is wildly awesome but you're wild you're you're no red is wildly wild awesomely and wild you're a bit mild companion but you're still awesome ah uh, i'm more of a tone you make it sound like i'm a toned down version of red it's basically that and just scream and do dumb shit, dance in the buck in my head for subs. I don't even care if I give a fuck or raids at this point. Um, let's see. I was going to say nine to five job is actually pretty good. And the reason I say that is because the insurance in case you're running a business and actually fails. You're unique. Uh, that's I'll take that as a, I'll take as that. Um, let's see. You guys can ask me anything, like any question you guys have, like if I ever say something on the high that's kind of weird or why do I do these things or 
Why am I casting spells like a weirdo, like throwing in shit? What am I acting like an anime character? Like, I don't know anything like that. Or like, what, what is this? Like, what are you doing? What the fuck are these people? Why do you have a woman that looks blue? That looks like a fucking, like a, I don't know, something you can make a doll out of. Why is there a guy with a fucking dragon on his face? I don't know. Why do I look like one of those weirdos? I don't know. I can name like a hundred things. <laughs> I mean, mainly, mainly, like I said, this is just for you guys to get to know me while you guys are in the showcase. And there may not be too many opportunities. And I hate to say that, too. I really hate to say that there may not be many opportunities for me to really join. So I figured this is actually the perfect. What is your favorite movie slash gaming genre? All right. Um, can we separate movies, I guess? I would say fantasy movies is kind of my thing. But gaming genre, when it comes to what something, when it comes to story, something when it comes to story, like written really well stories, I would always go with JRPGs or RPGs in general. Those always, ha for some reason, depending on which series we're talking about here, they get they're written really well. They really do. You know, sometimes there's a couple of comedic ones, like exceptions like Saints Row the Third. That's always been funny, of course. But that's a shooter, so like, eh, okay, cool, whatever. It's a GTA comedy club. Whatever, even though the new one's absolute shit. If you get that. Um Fantasy movie, if it's fantasy movie and then JRPGs, that's always been kind of my favorite. Like I like Lord of the Rings. Uh, I don't know if I go with Harry Potter. I've only watched the first three movies of Harry Potter, so I need to watch more to kind of see if I like it or not or how I feel, I guess. Otherwise, I really can't say much about that particular franchise. But we do watch a lot of I watch a lot of anime anyways. That's what I'm used to. Way too much. Actually, not actually, actually as of recently, I've been kind of toned down. I'm watching that much besides weekly episodes. But that's about it. But um, I will uh, continue. So anyways, like I said, uh, I'm just you guys. What is your, in your opinion on the status of the Internet these days? Like in general. All right, we're going with controversial, huh? All right. I'll give you my intake and probably long discussion. So the Internet, I really feel is how can I explain this? You know, how, like the way you act in real life is a lot different than um, people who act on the Internet because they could do whatever the fuck they want. There's a saying that goes. You like it's like you you act like a piece of shit with no consequences on the Internet. And if you, if you do that in real life, you'll get to get punched in the face. It's that analogy I'm getting with, if that makes sense. Can you say your ABCs backwards? Actually, I have a clip that makes me burp backwards. <laughs> but yes, um, how many push-ups can I do? Probably three, I would say. I look like one of those nutbags, so probably most likely three, if I had to really debate myself. Uh, but yes, it really answers your question. Yes, I could sing my ABCs backwards. I admire the honesty. I, Jarvis, I tried my absolute best. And again, I have de dealt with different situations in weird ways on gaming, Discord, this other stuff beforehand. So throwing the honesty needs to be thrown in there. It has to. If not, you're just going to see this fakeness in me for a minute. And you're just like, yo, asshole, you're fucking fake. You know that? I'm like, oh, OK, <laughs> I, I'm fake a bitch. <laughs> of course. Um, but anyways, uh, Lily, would you like me to do the ABCs backwards? That is my question. I should have said that first, but I tend to get a little. Huntsman, what is your most lewd cosplay? Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Holy shit! You want most lewd? I mean, all right. I don't know if it counts. I have a Final Phase fourteen character that dresses only in like this weird tie thing that Sam that fucking sumo wrestlers wear, and he's holding a spear. 
Is that considered lewd? Because he's got a giant dick? A uh, huntsman? All right, why sandwich meat surrounds when the bread is square? I don't know. Hey, no, true. That's fine. Um, that's a hard one. <laughs> I don't know how to fucking gush the condiments and make pickles smile. <laughs> this is this is not expected. <laughs> he goes, hey, you ask anything, asshole. So you're going to get anything you want. <laughs> Why are Wendy's burgers square? Because they try to be different. That's why. If the police arrested you with no explanation, what would your friends and family assume you had done? Um, tax evasion. <laughs> That's the one. Why does McDonald's Sprite taste better? All right. Well, actually, I'll, I can throw in some facts. At McDonald's, they have a... They use a different machine to make the syrup be better yes every soda at mcdonald's they have a machine that's different from like every other place that actually makes soda taste better when you go to mcdonald's i don't remember the, exactly what it's called like a steel it's like me out of steel it's a machine i don't remember exactly what it's called but i know that's actually a thing i, I, I know that i thought they said it was just coke alone and it wasn't just like soda in general i thought it was just coke because it's like, oh, Coke McDonald's, uh, Coke McDonald's actually tastes better. All right. I know why I, I work there. It's the size of the straw and the carbonation they add. Really? I didn't know that. That's crazy. Uh, what's the most awkward thing you said in public? Um, does my job count? Husband, does my job count? If someone looked at the internet search here, Sue, what would be the weirdest inquiry they find? Uh, depends. My phone or my computer? Okay. This is what I said at work. And I'm going to say this out loud. I love bird breasts! <laughs> That's great. All right, but anyways. Um, if it was... Internet, I don't know, some, some, some like, I don't know, some, probably somebody on Instagram, uh, but it was on my phone. Fuck, man. Holy shit. I would probably say, uh, inappropriate shit. So there's that. Um, there's that question. Don't look at my history. <laughs> look at my history. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh God! How how much? Uh, is there gonna be more? Is there more questions coming out? <laughs> My ass! <laughs> is this gonna be one of those like fucking questions? If you had to choose between your eyebrows or eyelashes, I would keep my eyebrows. <laughs> I would keep my eyebrows. Fuck the eyelashes! I don't give a fuck about those. <laughs> I look like a fucking. I look like a fucking alien if I don't have eyebrows. Are you kidding me? I look like a fucking mutant if I don't fuck. Oh shit. That's that's such a bro my yo, no. Fuck the eyebrows. It's always fucking great. Uh it's, it's uh, I'm having a great time right now, honestly. I actually didn't think it would be like a bunch of questions out of nowhere. I, I bet if there was more people probably earlier, it probably do you have a favorite joke or pun tell? Oh shit. Shit. No. I actually don't. <laughs> uh maybe uh I don't know. Something in game. What's your favorite catchphrase? Um, wasabi. Wasabi has always been my catchphrase. Uh, let's see. Inanimate object would be most annoying if I if it played out loud upbeat music while being used. Uh, 
That's a hard one. I would say rap. Ah, oh, damn it. I would probably say rap music. <laughs> I would say rap music if on stage. What's your favorite insult or cuss word I call people? Like I call people crumb is it? Oh man. I I would probably say nor uh, normies. Normies is probably my favorite my favorite word to say because I just call everybody normies, especially since I'm so different from everybody else in my area. I'm like you fucking normie. God damn fucking normie. That's not even nothing. Bellens. <laughs> <laughs> See, people gotta be like intelligent. If you're given a PhD degree and you had no more knowledge of that subject besides what you have now, what degree would you want to be given to you? I, I'm a stupid I'm a stupid dick, so uh fucking No. I know. Massage therapy. I would be a fucking fantastic massage therapist. Holy fuck. Cryopractor, I don't fucking care. I don't know what the fuck I've done in my life. And I always practice with fucking dudes at work rubbing people's back, shoulders and shit, man. I don't know how the fuck I do it. It's a fucking weird fucking skill I had since I was a kid. <laughs> Dicks don't need intelligence. To, they're used to two things. Yeah, what? Spearing holes? Huntsman, you have such... Huntsman, do you, do you know how many holes you probably plow through and you don't realize sometimes? Or how many times you pierce through your defen their defenses? It's like literally you pierce a fucking shield. Like, how fucking can you get? What is fucking going on? Holy shit. Like, I'm probably making some motherfuckers uncomfortable. Oh, my God. Ban Huntsman, please. I I can't take his phone away. What is he saying now? Dicks don't, <laughs> Dicks don't need intelligence. They use for two things. <laughs> Pass your and you'll never be uncomfortable. <laughs> Nah, for real. If anybody is uncomfortable, just let me know. And we'll take care of it in a matter of seconds. So far, nobody has said anything weird, okay? I'm the only one who's fucked up here. I am probably the most fucked up motherfucker. No, you're fine. Just let me know. I'm just saying, if anybody's more fucked up than anybody else here, it's gonna be me. Okay? You guys can slap me across the face for a lot of dumb shit. But everybody's, but everybody's cool. We're all cool here. We're all probably... I could do a really good Quagmire impression if anyone wants to fucking hear that shit. I'll, I'll continue if you want. I got voice impressions. I got... Weird... Some weird fucking discussions. What's the funniest pickup line you've heard? Giggity, giggity. <laughs> um, damn. I, I have it on my phone. Uh, hold on. It's, not, it's a it's a Valentine's pickup line. I, I actually saw and I actually heard somebody say it. Uh, let me actually look at it real quick. My favorite line is I ignore my positionals for you. I stop casting glare to he glare to heal you. What was that? Actually, I can't. There's a couple I find funny. I got my eyes on you like like a, it's like in game. It's an in game joke. It's a bunch of in-game shit. That's always been funny to me. Fucking, uh... Oh, I don't know. In a release. What normally delicious food gets ruined when you wrap it in a tortilla? Fucking ramen! That's an easy one. The shit gets all fucking soggy. The whole fucking tortilla gets all fucking... Spaghetti. No, we, we... Spaghetti tortillas? Jesus Christ. We could probably make that at work if we wanted to with the fucking with uh Pete with pizza crust, but fuck that. That shit's disgusting. No. No thanks, man. I'll take my uh Buffalo chicken parm sandwich any day. I'll take that. I'll make that at work every day if I have to, but Mac and cheese. I said ramen. 
Oh, I, I. Oh shit, Lily. I I told you the story about the guy that got me edibles. TJ, you're a whole vibe. I love this. Hey, I'm a whole fucking vibe. Okay. All right, uh, be, uh, Jarvis, be fucking honest with me right fucking now. Be fucking honest. Do I stand up for everybody else? I'm sorry. I, I hate to sound selfish. I hate to fucking say it. To be like that way. All right, hold on. And if you do a couple of some, oh no, if you could do something to mildly inconvenience someone you don't like, what would you do? Uh, ooh. I don't really like anybody. Let's see. Uh, take what I would take one battery of every electronic. Uh, I probably just take their chargers and just run off. That's probably one. Um, would you like it if more people did this in the showcase? Well, let me let me speak on that. The reason why I did this and I want to do an interview is to get you guys more involved. And it's not, I hate to say this too, and I respect everybody in the hive, and I love everybody else here, and everybody's cool, no big deal, I have no problems with anyone. But the thing is, the showcase is really about, like, who you are as a person, and of course, when you're on, when you're not, when you're actually streaming your normal schedule, you just play the games you normally play on, or do the normal activities. But when you do a showcase like this... I'd rather actually talk to you guys and focus on you guys than just playing a video game in the background. You guys get to stand there like this. Just just like wondering what the fuck's going on. I'm not I'm not saying everybody, but like that that like expression. Like Hello? Hello? Yo, chicken wings, can you come back here? I need my birds and they need to be sucked on with their breasts. Please. I love them blue and breasted. I don't know. Okay. I, I'm just I'm just asking an honest question. And I want an honest answer. Have you ever met somebody like myself? Have you ever encountered someone similar to me? I'm looking for criticism in a sense too. Because there are people. What I what do you mean suggest? Like what I suggest for like people to do their own showcases if it was something like this format is what you're saying? Because there's tons of things I could say as well. Like, I, I figured the first one should be questions of any kind. It doesn't really matter at this point. Maybe the next one. See, that's that's a hard one because you can go you can go anywhere you want with this. It works and it works either or it doesn't really matter. Like, if I did a showcase, I'll say hi to everybody and we can all talk about whatever it is that everybody wants to talk about. It's, it's almost like a general chat, except I'm just here and I can, I don't, I don't know. I'm not good with words, but I figured this would be different than what everybody else is doing. That is what I'm trying to kind of stand out in its own way. I it, it is It is selfish. Yes, I'm sorry to say that. It is selfish. I know. But this is totally different. That is basically the objective is to be different and do something different. That is pretty much what I would do, but that's me personally. Um, but yes, I, I, I'm not, there's nobody here. Everybody, everybody is cool. I just want to, the reason I asked if I stand out from everybody else is because I need a review as well. I need that review. I need to be told, yo, you're like this guy, but you're an asshole. Oh, you like this dude, but you're out of your fucking mind half the time. Yo, hey, you're a cool dude, but you're fucking inappropriate. Or some shit like that. I can, I can go on days and days and days and days. Why is your only channel points to get more channel points? That's actually a really good question. So the reason I did that. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry, channel points. Okay, that, the way you read that is... Totally different. So the objective of these channel points alone is for you to get more stream currency and it stacks over time. So it's like a multiplier. It'll be it basically it's a multiplier for you to get more points. Yes. So you just redeem to get more points. So what I do is go on your lovely bot, your sexy ass bot. If you want to use stream elements, if you want to use labs, if you want to use my bot. Uh, 
You want to use fucking butthole? I don't know. So, the point system is there to, like, if you want to redeem, like, me dance with a buck in my head or wear a rag on my head. Whatever the case you guys want to do, and you guys can redeem that, and that will stack up over time. Because you're already getting points for watching for watching somebody every 10 minutes, and of course, let's stack it on top of, get more points on top of that. So, let's go with the loyalty system. Now, all I do is go to leaderboards, and Luna Queen just redeemed 50 points, and this is always fun. Uh, give me one second, I'll look at chat in just a minute. Cool. Uh, there we go. To answer it before, yes, you are helpful, and yes, you're a wild dude. Some people are super serious, but you have a funny... are super serious, but you have a funny vibe, and I like it. See, um, I don't know if I would say I'm helpful, but it depends on where I am that's, that's helpful. I don't really... How can I say this? <sighs> where am I helpful? I guess it really depends. Hey, and welcome, Mr... So anonymous, if I pronounce that correctly, forgive me. You can punch me in the face if you like. Synonymous, I hope you're having a fantastic rest of your Friday. And uh, how are you doing, sir? I love your name. Your name looks fantastic. It reminds me of a side duck with two thousand dollars of cash and kick me in the face. It's great. Um, but that's awesome though, because that's something that's gets criticism that I'm probably gonna need at some point. I'm sleep deprived. I can't fall asleep. <laughs> Damn. I'm like that sometimes. I, I get very, very hyper most of the day, especially when I know I can build that up and it's not hard for me to do. I'm a very hyperactive person, so I hope it to pass out. Hey, it's all good. It's all good, Mr. Pilots. You're, 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 it's all good. Trust me. Everything's chill. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just kind of like what I'm going with. And Luangie wants more points. Hell yeah. Everybody's getting points today. Everybody wants sexy ass points. Let me get you guys on here. Let me make sure I'm getting people's usernames correctly. Because sometimes I do that and I, I tend to suck. I suck at people's usernames like half the time. Uh, this is always fun. I do things so very old fashioned. I do what I want. Exactly. You better do what the hell you fucking want. Because uh, or else you never fucking win. Or else it's game over. Nobody wins. Nobody gets cash. We all cry. Whatever. Let's see. Uh, L I L L. I R A N A and we and she wants 50 points. Let's go. There you go. There's your points right here. That's always fun. I keep getting bursts of energy second wins and then crashing a bit and yet to fail fall asleep. Um well when I work at my job, I actually for some reason my body tends to like slow down in the beginning. No, I gave you points. Check your, um, nope. Being over time is the worst. Uh, type in drag, exclamation point, dragon energy, and you should have got points. That is how, uh, I give you points. So there's no redeems. Your redeeming channel points is the multiplier for the stream element, for the stream elements currency. That is what we're going for here. You're 150, 270. So this is what I kind of do, and you guys could spend it. I say I had a great day at work. It was crazy as fuck. Unfortunately, I generally have a really good bunch of coworkers. So you know what? Same here, but the only difference is, um, is really, I love my coworkers except for one guy I fucking hate because he, even though he tries to be friends with me. I still kind of find, I still feel uncomfortable, of course. <laughs> what can you do with Stream Elements currency? Uh, you can do a lot of things. You can make me wear a bucket in my head. You can make me wear a hoodie. You can make me wear, grab a weapon. Go, go wear a rag in my head. I probably haven't even adjusted any of my points. It's so fucking long sometimes. <laughs> I don't even fucking know what to do myself anymore. <laughs> I haven't adjusted this entire thing in so long. So if anybody has a problem, just let me know. I'll definitely give you guys a freebie. So I have to I have to fix everything and I haven't fixed anything in a very long time. And that's and yes, I'm being fucking lazy. <laughs> you can call me extra lazy if you want. <laughs> and that's okay. Uh I love to do this more often. I, I really want to come back to do what I want to do back again. 
I only created only recently kind of got back on Twitch. I've been watching anyone or anything or not. You know what's kind of funny? I I understand why people have a hard time watching people on Twitch like recently, and that's because of the forced ad ads on your phone, and it's very annoying. And I would probably love to punch Amazon in the face. <laughs> but instead, no, we get this bullshit. So if anybody has uh anything there um Interesting. If they want to see my other social media, you guys are welcome to uh, type in exclamation point social media. You guys can type that in, and I have a whole uh, link tree kind of likes link, and it will give you all my uh, social media and stuff that you guys want to see. If you guys want, up to you guys. Uh, yes, horrible, and they just need to figure out a way to implement ads better. You know what? If I had the ability, I would take off ads. I'm sorry. I would take away ads. I'm sorry. I would literally take that away. Because I don't, it's not even, it's not even worth my time. It's really not worth my time. Honestly, it's not. Um, it's just not, I, I don't really find it with like the side bot adverts. I mean, YouTube's got its problems too, though. Of course, YouTube's got its own problems. Of course. They're trying to improve. I guess YouTube is trying to improve that. And I want them to improve it, of course. <laughs> but it's always been a fucking issue. But if anything, and I don't care if what part of this, I don't care what part of community you're on. I want people to improve, and I want people to see things the way I see it. Some some people like the like any any anybody, even free company or admin mod teams, are probably are extremely uncomfortable because I'm very outspoken, and that's okay. The biggest issue is how they interrupt interrupt, and that kills legit purpose watching a lot of stuff. Again, yes, but then there's also but also the other thing too, Mister. Uh, pseudo synonymous is there's another revival to that and that's locals and rumble where you don't need to have there's no ad pleasing advertisers it's only just you as the moderator and you can just do what the fuck you want with it that's not backed up by any means that's that's another place you can go as well that's another place you can go um and Hudson, thank you for joining the Bucket Man Squad, you sexy motherfucker. You're an awesome dude. Thank you so much. Hope, uh, hope you guys hope you have an awesome rest of your time here. Being here, of course. And like I said, if you guys are interested in seeing other social media I have to offer, please click, please type exclamation point social media. And you got all kinds of stuff we can watch as well. I'll try to post as much as I can, but we're we're like i said we're slowly coming back but it's gonna be a lot of fun we have tons of clips we can work with so that's always been great uh i hope you have not oh nope, excuse me that's stream elements talking today stream elements is telling me to go fuck myself at this point <laughs> all right b's ass we need a final sting shit i would love to make one but i i don't have enough slots okay i already have like 10 fucking emotes i'm working on right now <laughs> It's just late. Hey, it's all good. Nah. See, that's the thing is um, I would I like doing these late at night. I prefer doing these and I just like to ha work with my schedule, of course. And this is why I picked the Fridays. I'm I'm hoping to and I, I know the mods are going to listen. I don't matter to me. I'm hoping that this opportunity kind of changes things a little bit. To kind of maybe think about like, hey, Friday is actually kind of dope, in my opinion. Something different. Just because... It's not, I don't find it fair to me, but like... It's just my opinion. Being too comfortable, like, every day for a long period of time... Kind of just makes you a little bit ignorant and try to improve just a little bit on aspects of whatever your life or the discord or a game you're playing or something like that something like you know i said that before so i just felt like this was different what's your favorite food uh oh that's a hard one i'll try to get some sleeps okay like the fourth time we're trying to get time we're going hey thank you mr synonymous thank you for uh joining us i hope you have a fantastic rest of your night sir please go get some rest you lovely motherfucker all right uh favorite food to answer your question um ah uh, thank you for the follow you you gorgeous man um 
Favorite food? That's a hard one. You know what? I'm going to have to say this. Can it be a side dish? Uh, did I miss your question? Hold on. Let me scroll up. Let me see if I missed your question. Hold on. Dragon Wars Command. Blah, 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 blah. Do what I want. I don't remember seeing your question about what is your game plan to zombie apocalypse. I don't remember that. No, I don't think I... What time was it? What was the timeline for that question? I'm like looking. I wasn't trying to reach the question. I'm just trying to read. I read... I'm pretty much I'm keeping up. All right. Uh, so anyways, I'll answer the question real quick. So favorite food, I'm going to go with... <sighs> as much as I hate to say this. Fucking uh, sushi. Let's see. Uh, next question is, what is one thing you live to improve for yourself, though? <sighs> like a skill set? Damn, a skill set. Um, I actually would actually want to be more. Like better mentally, if that makes sense. Like, I, I like to improve on having correcting my words correctly maybe better convi um be more convincing that type of stuff like speech and everything i'd love to be better at that of course any day and that's fine uh so anyways what is your my game charisma i, I eh, i guess if you want to call it that that's fine uh i'll say what is your game plan on a zombie apocalypse <laughs> uh Damn. I fucking just go run the fuck away. I just die. <laughs> nah, I got a better one. I would literally go run to my uncle's house, grab grab his weaponry. Basically, take a bow and arrow. I'll kill as much as I can, then I'll just die. So I'll have fun before I died. <laughs> Just to see what happens. I mean, I want to see how good my marksman is and shit. To see how how desperate can I act? Oh shit! What you? What's kind of funny is my question, and this is just me. How can I say this? I really feel like, and the reason I was last, and I picked last for a good fucking reason, and I always say this, and I hate to say this. Save the best for last that is why i always fucking say and that is why if i can find a very t very last time slot on anything i don't even care i would go for it because i'm a piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> they're great Pickle, bitches right, motherfucker right, motherfucker what am I? I don't know what I'm gonna do to myself. I don't know. I'm very good at responding. I don't know what it is. I've always been very good at responding to people. I don't know how I fucking do it sometimes. I bet half the people here are just like. You're not confident, not POS. What the fuck is a POS? A positional? <laughs> I'm a I'm a positional. Do I pick here? Do I pick here? Do I go left? Oh my god. What do I do myself? I, I we gotta we gotta break these fears this shit, man. What am I what am I doing? What am I doing to myself? Oh piece of shit. Oh okay. I I'm sorry. I got POS from positional from a video game, not POS as in piece of shit. <laughs> oh fuck. It'll be really funny if there's a clip here that somebody fucking made and decided to post it as the clips against everybody else on the hive. I would find that so fucking awkward as fuck. I'm like, what is this guy fucking saying? He needs to shut the fuck up. I'm not a piece of shit. Yeah, I, I, I get you. All right, now I get you. I'm, I will be confident if I know what I'm doing. Of course, there's, there's things I'm very confident about. And I have displayed that because I have experience because I understand. I understand most struggles when it comes to groups and stuff. I understand that it's really just 
communication needs to be said. And if people are not willing to compromise, like, at all, they're, they're the selfish ones. They're out for themselves. Like, no, there's no, like, there's no room for anything. There's a difference. And we, and obviously everybody's probably seen that before, of course. People that just don't watch each other and shit. Like, they you watch somebody and they're just like, Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> and then it's like, then that energy's now coming back. I mean, Cody even said that before, like, I, I forget if he was like a post or something like that, where he's like, you get the same energy and I don't get it back, then I'm not gonna bother. It's kind of like that, in a sense. So, I, I try to give whatever energy I can throw at everybody else here, and I can just spat, spat on about everything else all day. I mean, even the question is, do I want to do every single showcase with just questions? Like, throw TJ a question, or should I do different categories and stuff to be different? Because I've been thinking about this for a very long time. That's why there's a lot of reasons, too. Like, I was pretty patient, and I didn't really rush to be in anything. So I just, like, I wanted to actually come out with a bank. That was kind of, like, the point of... That was really just the point of me just being patient with everybody else. So it's really just what it really comes down to. And like I said, there's a lot of you guys I respect as well. Everybody I respect as well. You know? I don't care if you got, you know, kids, you got dogs, you got some other stuff going on in your life. You know? Take care of that priority and, you know, I respect you for doing what you have to do. You know, whatever. At the end of the day, we're all just human doing what we can do to survive at the end of the day. I know that sounds kind of weird. <laughs> Coming from a from a guy who looks like a, f a fucking kid every day. I don't blame you. <laughs> I'm just a weirdo. Uh, so I, I am, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy. Uh, I, I think the last time I did this, somebody asked me about a girlfriend question. I was just like, uh... <laughs> just froze i'm like oh fuck <laughs> not a girlfriend question fuck <laughs> shit <laughs> i'm fucking laughing <laughs> oh i love I, I i love that what is is that oh it's a ball goes like i get it <laughs> oh shit all right um Let's see here. That's always great. <clears throat> so yeah, um so anyways. Wow, it's already the end of the showcase. Everybody's gonna be Christian bailing from the from the from the sign of smells I can tell. Everybody's gonna Christian bales. We're all gonna Christian bales. Everybody's gonna do that shit. I'm ready for it. Because there are some drunk and wee people we can... <laughs> yes. Please, yes. You need to go to bed. You probably have a long day tomorrow. You, If I remember too, you got classwork that's like due at like 2 in the morning. <laughs> please do. I hope you had a great time here, Lily. I appreciate you coming in. You really guys didn't have to come here. You guys really didn't have to. But I appreciate all you weirdos. I appreciate all yous. You guys are awesome. You finished your classwork. Oh, hell, even better. <laughs> I would never want to do college. I'm too dumb for that shit. I'm way too dumb for school. Honestly. I hate to say that. I'm way too dumb. <laughs> uh, oh, midnight. Oh, even better. <laughs> even better was doing midnight. Oh, shit. But anyways, uh. Anyways, Lily, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your night. Please get your rest, and I hope you have an awesome rest of your night. And thank you for stopping in. You guys are awesome. But anyways, uh, let's continue with what I was saying earlier. Um, I don't know if I should close this early. I, don't, I really want to. I might stick around for another 20 minutes. I really don't mind. Uh, I'll take last-minute questions of anything. <laughs> oh, you're watching Death Space with me this week, right? <laughs> Am I gonna am I gonna remember to watch the Dead Space movie? 
Am I ever going to remember that? Probably not. I'm knowing me, I'm gonna forget shit. <laughs> uh you have no choice. <laughs> I I I I I will have to I really wish a couple of my friends that I know in real life would actually will actually will come on here and support me in any way, shape or form. Doesn't have to be money or anything. I would love that, but these people just don't care. <laughs> they just play games with me to play games with me and that's it. It's kind of sad. But anyways, thank you guys. Uh, yeah, no worries. Maybe not. I'm probably going to end up watching like One Piece and My Hero Academia and all that fun stuff. Maybe I might watch in the morning. I haven't had to really decided yet. Depends on my two things. But it's all good. Well, we'll have to watch me. Yeah, I'll have to find the time. I'll have to. No! Burn! Baby, burn! Doug burns! Burns! I watch you. Um, all right. Let me ask. Is Jada still here? Is Jada still here? Because I have a question, and I'm going to ask, why would you join Meeps chanting about birds on someone's stream about five times now when I was going on about birds during showcases all day? I just want to know the reason why would you continue that when I'm doing it by myself? <laughs> that is my question. But I, I bet she's probably like... <laughs> on the floor or some shit. Uh, like I finished the original Dead Space game, and there, so there's a second movie called Aftermath I want to watch. Isn't that a game? I remember Dead Space having a game. There was like a, it was like a, it was like Dead Space video games or something like that. I, I have to like look. It was. I don't think it was a movie. I remember it was a game or something like that. Hold on, I, I remember being a game back like two two console ages ago. It was like Dead Space something, Dead Space Extraction. I think it was a video game, not a movie. Yeah, Dead Space Extraction. It's a fucking game. I remember that being a thing. I didn't play it though, because it was on it was like a PS move thing. Is the game okay? So Downfall and Aftermath are both movies. Oh, okay, that's okay. That makes sense. Downfall and Aftermath. <laughs> All right. I if hopefully I'll probably remember, but depending on how much my brain is uh, being destroyed, um, or whatnot. So that's always great. Um, so uh, once I come back, um, I'm actually I hate to say this, and I don't like to announce this too early. I will actually be looking for moderators in the future. And if anyone is interested, it'll be a long while. I don't know when. I haven't really decided because I don't mod me. Hey, you said not to mod you. You said you can be VIP, but not mod. You said that yourself. I remember you telling me, do not mod me. You can VIP me, but don't mod me. I knew you were going to say something. I, I remember those details. Mod me. <laughs> in the future. Not right now. It's going to be in the future. I don't have a single mod, which is in this. I mean, I said that and it applied to be my <laughs> mod too. <laughs> I hate myself, I guess. I mean, you just want to be somewhere. You can be whatever you want. Um. So anyways. Uh, oh, wait, you know what? Screw it. We're going to have fun with this. Fuck it. TJ's gonna pull the Ragman doll bullshit. Fuck it. We're doing it right now. Fuck this. We don't we don't fucking care. We're, we're gonna go with such elegance. Such a man. I'm gonna be this Karen. I'm gonna be this Karen bitch. I'm gonna be a fucking Karen. So you realize how put a rag on your head on my head is a little off color, right? Well, I, at work, we call it rags. At work, we call it rags. That's why. That is why. I look like such a gorgeous babe like this. <laughs> it's fine, though. The people are not going to understand it, and I'm not ever going to. You do. 
I what? Whoa, 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 whoa. That, that's a we're going way somewhere else now. I would probably cry. <laughs> I know it's a joke. I know. I know you're joking. I knew that was coming anyways. Or wait. That joke was coming. And I read that was inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 hey, as long as you realize your mistake, it's all good. So yeah, I, I look like a Karen. I am not going to. It's a yoke. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> oh my god. I, I'm actually going to make this an emo. I'm not joking. It's coming. We're making this a fucking emo. Yeah, please go to bed, Lily. Go to bed. You got your kids to deal with. Have a great night. Thank you for stopping on in. You lovely person, please go to bed. God damn. Before my Karen looking ass is going to come at you. <laughs> I look like a Karen. I go into Starbucks. Maybe I'll walk around the grocery store. Just just like wearing this in my head. Walk around. Everybody's going to be fucking all confused. Like what the fuck's going on? I'm like, I'm Karen. You got a problem? No. I'm like, okay. I'm a Karen. See you later. <laughs> I took this for my job, by the way, too. I didn't even care. It's great. Now I look like a Karen. For hours. Uh, this is great. This was totally worth the wait. I don't even care. If it was like two or three people, that's just active. Actively chatting. It, it's it's hilarious. I know a couple people in here chalked to full a little bit. Because really, it, I would have had no problems just actually having an interactive conversation with everybody else. I mean, this is actually really easy for me to keep track of everything. I don't know how other people do it, though. I don't I don't fucking know how other people do it. Track, keep track of chat and everything when it's like they, they barely could see it. I'm heading to bed, too. Man. Sorry, I was just some league games that I got crazy. Don't. S oh, never mind. It's Jarvis. Oh, no, nah, you're fine, Jarvis. Um, League is just one of those games I don't like personally. I find it a very uh how can I say this? A Barbaricia looking toxic girl type of game. I hate to say that. But that is my opinion and that's what it states. <clears throat> hey, it's each and early. exactly. No, I get you. That's why I said that. I'm like, it's a Barbaricia toxic type of deal. Yeah, well, too bad. I like crystal mommies all day long. They have uh, preferentialist figures. The toxic wind up demon girls just kind of like just like to get fucked all day. How else can I explain it? So. I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night, Princess Jadis. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for Christian Balin. Hope you have a great rest of your night. <laughs> Gotta be great. But yeah, no, no problem, Jarvis. I mean, everybody's got their own game. And I, yeah, have, a, have a good night to you, Jarvis. Have a good one as well. Take care. But yes. Um, it's crazy, though, how I've been doing this for years, so I'm kind of used to uh, dead chat, and I really don't mind. You know, you gotta, you gotta create the opportunity uh, hi, night owls for life. I'm usually not a night. Uh, good night, good night, Princess Jays. Have a good one, Christian Bales. My my bird says good night. My dragon says good night too. Lovely Karen. Oh, this is my hair. Oh, my hair. I look so good. Oh, <laughs> I look like a fucking idiot. I look like a fucking idiot wearing this. <laughs> I look like a fucking oh my god! I look like a nineteen-year-old fucking playing with their hair. Oh god! I look like one of those librarians on anime, just like me. <laughs> oh my god! Don't get me started today. Like one of those precious library girls all day long. I look really weird with glasses, but I do like wearing these fake glasses most of the time. It's always a great time. I want to be kind of a cool idea, and this is kind of my opinion. What if people had 
somebody somebody's favorite thing to watch but you have to give five fucking reasons and it cannot be one word it has to be multiple reasons and if you have evidence of that you can clip it i don't know that just sounds like a. don't know if that's a good idea i figured like if you like somebody you you watch somebody and they're like you want to find like they're like a clip or something that they have and it's hilarious or like you clip them during the same day they are streaming and you see that fucking shit they're like here you go and they're like i'm like yo what the fuck you do i'm like yeah <laughs> oh shit I, I don't know what i'm doing anymore because like the other thing is too is I don't know. There's never really anybody to really grow with. I, I always had the roughest time trying to get to know people. And I've always been like that. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because I know I'm wicked different from everybody else. And everybody's cool with it. I've never seen this dude on here once. <laughs> All right, I never I never seen this guy before, so That's uh it's pretty sad. <laughs> All right, now our now our numbers going down. Let's just I don't you know, I don't really care about numbers, honestly, at this fucking point. I'm just here just to talk bl blabber out of my mouth and out of my ass and whatnot. It don't really matter to me, of course. Yeah, I really have to say. I have never seen this man once. No. Yeah. Okay. It's all good. No worries. We call that a day. Mod me. No. Yeah. I'll be. Um. So as I say with the announcements, um, we are going to be. Um. We're gonna do. We're gonna continue with the episode as soon as we get back. We'll continue with the Crash Bandicoot marathon for a while. So for right now, we just figured we'd do a special showcase for the Hive here, of course. And that was actually kind of the main point to ask me any questions you guys like, if you guys want to know me in any way, shape or form. And you guys have been awesome. Um, but the other thing I said before, like during personal stuff, I'm actually will be looking for mods uh, at some point in the future. In the future, if anybody wants to mod, they're more than welcome to. Um, maybe I'll just ask for not too much of their time. If they can't, I'm not worried about it. It's not a big deal. So I'll be looking for that at some point. All right. Uh, let's see if we can find somebody to raid, I guess. Has this been an hour? I feel like it's been an hour, right? Yeah, yeah, it's been about an hour, 30 minutes. I'm not worried about it. We're having fun here. Um, I might have to ask the admin, um, admin some questions about if uh, the next Friday I can actually do it again or I can't. I just don't want to be mad early. I don't like being early for streams a lot. I hate I rather, that's why I picked the last time slot. It's always late. So. All right, but anyways, uh, we're going to be uh, Christian bailing ourselves out of here. Uh, thank you, guys. So uh, you can, but you have to wait till. Hey, wait, hold on, Lunar. Actually, that, that's not really the question I was asking. So let's say they do. Let's say Fridays becomes they allow Fridays now. Now. 
Now my last question is, what if, let's say they do a rotation. So this one's Friday. Next week is Saturday. The next following week is Sunday. Now, can I apply to do Friday the same exact time slot t two, three weeks later? That is my question. If you get what I'm saying, because I'm not doing Saturday or Sundays, I'm only doing Fridays. If they pass, that is. That is my question. Because I'm not doing Saturday or Sundays. I'm not doing those. Fuck that. I'll, I'll be... I, I'm, I'm not like 116% feeling it. <laughs> That's why I pick Fridays now. It's always great. That is my question. I might have to ask. I'll have to ask. Like, if I can I do the same Friday again, but if it's not like if it's like three weeks later, if it's rotated, like I still do it again. I mean, I really don't feel like I'm the same person that you don't want on repeat. Actually, no, actually, no, no. If my first impression for everybody else is actually better than what most impressions that you get from other people that you watch the showcase on, it might be a different situation that people want me again on whatever day that I'm on. Well, let's say just Friday alone. Like, okay, cool. And then people are excited for Friday because, oh, let's see if TJ goes last again and we'll fucking stay up and watch him or something. Because that's more. I'm just saying as an example. And it's like everybody else, I really like eh. stuff like that. If that makes sense. I'm not entirely sure. If you get I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say, though, because I don't know, it, it, like it's not the showcase. I like the showcase and it's cool and all. But I really feel like everybody does their own thing during during the showcase itself, if that makes sense. I don't know how else to explain it. It sounds weird on paper. It really does. I just I just figured if I did it and then I proved myself I was different, like a totally different person than what everybody else expected, I bet people will come back <laughs> like a good first impression. <laughs> that is literally my question. That is why I'm not trying to get validation any way, shape or form. I'm just thinking from a logical standpoint, from a like. I know it's how psychology and shit, but that first impression was needed. And I didn't have any way to do a a personation um, without I'm trying to say, without like trying to sound like I'm promoting myself when I don't want to. But I'm doing it in a different way. That's why I don't post anything. I just don't care because. I, 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 I'd rather be the underdog. I, I don't really care. Call me the underdog. Call me a uh i don't know underrated uh overrated uh too much it could be tons of shit whatever that's fine i'm cool with that i just don't like the idea no i'm saying if i got first dibs so you know what i'm saying like if i let's say two weeks from now after the after that sunday one they come back to friday I have the same fucking role as I always have, and I just always click dibs in the last role out in the last fucking time slot. Like it'll happen. To, like let's say, let's say three weeks, uh, two weeks from now. Okay, next week Saturday. The following week is Sunday. I don't do any of that shit because I don't want to. Friday comes around, I can just go, like obviously after MVP stuff, and then I could be like, hey, can I get this time slot? The same exact one, no questions asked. Because, and if not, I just don't do it. It's that simple. If that makes sense. I mean, the, 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 way, the way I see it is, it's either I do take it or I don't. And... Because I just figure, like, if you can't be on every week, it would make sense to do like every other third, like third rotation. Like I'll just ask right away. Cause I, I don't really, I don't, 
honest, I don't really care. Like, I got my own stuff to worry about, and I'm just like, yeah, like, it'll be kind of cool. I want to meet some... I want to see some people get a good first impression of me, of course. Or whatever, and I haven't... I'm pretty sure people are, like, petrified of me now. They just... My money says people are so petrified of me. They're just like, yo, I need to leave. <laughs> this guy scares me. This guy's like a fucking crack addict or some shit. I don't fucking know. This leaves. Just it like this, like, what's the word I'm looking for? It's almost like a an anomaly that shouldn't exist, but it's nice to have around. It's like this uncommon ingredient you find on a fucking like a Stardew Valley game and it just you don't really see it often. It's like, oh shit, this is cool. I got something I don't normally get. It breaks away the normalcy. And it's gotta be hard for me to really be creative of doing this every week if I want to do something different. <laughs> like impressions and shit, so. But anyways, you get my point. I'll have to ask. It's fine. I'll probably message be like, hey, um, I have a question. So let's say this week I did Friday. Uh, and if it does come to pass and it's rotated, can the next Friday, that's like three weeks from now, can I actually try to take the time same time spot again? I mean, I don't see they won't complain because they do have to fill it in. But they also have other opportunities. Like people have so many opportunities on Saturday and Sundays anyways. It's, it's like a great majority and for me, I can't do weekends. I just cannot do them. I, I well, mainly I refuse to do them because it's kind of a waste of my time. But I'm also like I'm not feeling 116 percent with my energy. My energy does give out. I give I don't want to give less. I rather have I rather be at my peak than just be like Ugh! or some shit. But anyways, you guys get my point. It's awkward as fuck, but whatever. <laughs> actually, uh, what's kind of funny is, uh, I wonder if actually Savgo said anything like before even Ray would just like looked at me funny. <laughs> he just, I, hey, I loved how I hate. I don't want to like every, everybody's cool and all. I loved how he was confused on everything I was saying in chat. It's not for me just to fuck with him, but like this is just the way I do things and it's funny. Just a different reaction and people are like, what what's going on? What is this guy? I mean, I also probably could have got banned or blocked or some shit. Whatever. I probably could have, and that's a chance. But it's funny. Come on. Nobody finds it nobody finds it funny. Well, funny in a different way. If not, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Sav is an interesting character. I mean, like you said, too, I, I wanted a reaction. He's like, what is what is he saying? I'm, I'm so confused. What is this about birds and shit? I broke his, his speech bot <laughs> and shit. It's great. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I can go further more offline. Of course, I can go more. I don't know. It's it's just it's different. I, I feel like everybody else is very. I, I feel like most people are too fucking similar to each other. Like they're way too similar. I I, I cannot say what it is exactly if it's like. If everybody has like that similar. I don't know. It's, it's a hard call. I'm sensing I can never describe it. May, I, I don't I don't know. It's hard. Maybe like I'm also seeing me as a selfish person. I'm like, I actually see myself very different from a lot of people I've watched before. Like you're not going to see somebody who's fucking crazy as fuck all day. I mean, the only exception I would say is Red Scarf, but Red Scarf is a uh, hype in his different way. But I also disagree with one particular factor. 
and that's uh I I, I hate I don't want to say either because I, I respect I respect people I, I have my criticism but I respect them I just hope they're aware of what they're doing that's it that's all that's all I have to say but anyways we're gonna get off here it's been a long day is anybody on today let's see we got vital stretch nuts king buddha i don't want to do king buddha no uh do i i don't know if i want to do vital either yeah i see vitals on you're entitled to your own opinion exactly yeah vitals on stretch nuts is on king buddha's on I, i'm not doing king buddha one winged angel uh Royal what the what the fuck are these names? Holy shit. Hold on. Uh what I kinda wanna raid somebody. Alright. Oh, I I've seen his name. Never mind. I've seen his name before. I've seen his name. Never mind. This is a podcast. I'm a damn. That, that this dude's got a nice fucking beard. The fuck, man. This dude seems chill. One wing angel. That's fine. All right, uh, we're gonna do vital because I don't really get. In case you didn't know. Oh, Royal now. Oh, okay, hold on. I've never... Okay, I've never seen him either. What role is he? I've never seen this dude's name. What the fuck? Is he playing a game on a spoil? No. Mm. Uh. Hold on. No. Yeah, see, actually, actually, no, hold on. I'm not, I don't want to do Vital. It's because of the trending game. I don't want to do Stretch Nuts because the same problem. King Buddha, I would, but I would really not get the same reaction. Like, you. Uh, okay, that makes sense. It's, I respect these guys, but when they're playing trending games, I don't really support trending games. I don't want to do that. That's a no thank you. Uh, who do I want to fucking raid? That's a really good... I'm gonna have fucking have nobody at this point. I usually raid anybody in the hive anyways, most of the time, but I want to make an exception. Because I really don't feel like, uh... Um... I want to give somebody else a chance. I try getting a new, a new person about 95% of the time. I figured that might be cool. I'm not sure. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, so he's playing Legend of Dragoon. Just chatting. Fantasy Star 4? Nope. I don't want to watch that. I, I don't know who to watch, honestly. Resident Evil Village. Final Fantasy 7 Remake. The, the dude drew... Oh, he's playing eight. Oh, hell. Oh, I would not over this fucking lady any day. It's fuck the Quisterix, the teacher. I would bust my nut for her. I don't even give a fuck at that point. Game's fucking great, man. I love this game. I want to do that, though. Uh. Octopatch. Oh, fuck. I can't. I can't. I can't watch that. That's spoilers. Final Fantasy X. Damn, man. Oh, he's playing his first... His first, uh... Wait. Is that Ozma? Is that Ozma? I can't tell what the fuck that is. I know that's like a super boss. I don't know what the fuck that is. 
I don't know what the, what what is I thought Ozma was oh no wait I'm sorry that's not Ozma Ozma's a fucking super boss in Final Fantasy 9 I'm watching why am I watching 10 like an idiot uh damn that's a hard one I don't know I res I've raided these dudes before and I've it's not a big deal um Ninja Gaiden you know what I might... I'll go with Vital. Fuck it. Fuck it, we'll go with Vital for this one. Alright, anyways, guys, we're gonna be getting the... We're gonna be Christian bailing out of this situation. Uh, you guys have been awesome, and thank you guys, and thank you, the Hive, mainly the final sting, you motherfuckers out there, uh, for actually giving me the showcase... Uh, showcase opportunity. I hope I can do more in the future. Um... And uh, if anybody wants me to do more, just let me know, of course, in the Discord. Because I uh, hope I'd stand out from everybody else. But anyways, I hope you guys have a uh, fantastic rest of the night. I hope you guys are loving the overlay since you know he's been here before. And everything's drawn and all that fun stuff. And thank you to... You're awesome, my friend. Hey, I try my best. That's all I can do. I hope you have an awesome rest of your night as well. I hope we'll talk pretty soon. But anyways, guys, I don't know when I'll be back. Uh, I will let you guys know on Twitter. If you haven't followed me there, you can follow me on Twitter. We're going to have some fun there. Um, I'll, I announced today, so I don't know when I'll be back. So we'll be back. I don't know. I might need like a month or two. So I'll, I'll, I'll definitely let you guys know before and when we come back. And we'll definitely do some more uh, Crash Bandicoot games and stuff as our continuation. It's been a long while. Trust me, it's been due for that. So but anyways, guys, I love you all. Hope you have an awesome rest of your rest of your night. And wasabi to all you motherfuckers. We're Christian bailing ourselves out of here. Hope you have a great night. I love you all. Peace. And the birds love you too. Thank you.